it's the Crap Goth, my name is Pixie and welcome to my channel of randomness where you never know what you're going to get. Now this morning you are going to get this. Are you ready? It's a puppy! So if you want to find out more about him, stay tuned. Hello, so I am doing this video as always backwards where I've already had things happen and now I'm filming the intro for it. So how did we end up with a chihuahua puppy? It was completely a random thing entirely. Um, we have actually been looking at getting a puppy for a while. Um, my, I have a therapy dog called Gypsy, she's a sprudel, she's beautiful. It was something we thought it'd be lovely for her to have pups of her own. But my little boy needed two heart transplants so we ended up spending a lot of time in hospital so it really wasn't feasible for her to have her own puppies and my friend Kate who is amazing she owns a local sweet shop in town called Sweet Retreats she's lovely she has chihuahuas now I have always been one of these people and Kate actually said the same thing where she calls the, like rat dogs <laughs> like chihuahuas are tiny they're basically smaller than cats and I am very much a Great Dane kind of person. I like the larger breeds as well. I never in a million years thought I would go for something like a Chihuahua. Really, really not that kind of like doggy person until I met a Chihuahua. And oh my God. So me and my husband and um, my little one all went over to meet these puppies and um, we ended up adopting Spooky. And this little guy was actually helped be named by my friend Laurie, so thank you so much. I wanted something to be a little bit different. I like the Halloween style names. His markings are stunning. He's a Merle dog. I think they call it Merle. He's absolutely beautiful. He is 10 weeks old, I think. He was born on the 11th of um, November and he came to join our family last night. Now he's here a couple of days early. We he what we was we was we were going to adopt him on the 9th, which would have marked the six months mark of my little boy um leaving us sadly. Um and I know that Cory would have been so excited about having a little puppy. Um but he came last night and he spent the night with me and he is so lovely. He's so affectionate, he is great in his playpen, he likes to be out and about, um he prefers to be cuddled. Um, he's just absolutely adorable. Gets on really well with Gypsy. My other dogs met him as well, um, but he's not bothered. He's old. Hi. <laughs> he's absolutely gorgeous. So this little dude is going to grow up on camera. He's going to be a regular feature of the Crap Goth and Crack in the Box, which is obviously my son's YouTube channel as well. Um, obviously he's not quite ready to be going out into the big world yet. So, but we have we will have the Adventures of Spooky coming up. Yes, we will, won't we? And uh, yeah, he's just adorable and life with a basically a teacup dog <laughs> is going to be interesting because I've never had one before. So if you guys have got a chihuahua, have got any experience, please do feel free to comment down below because it'd be lovely to hear from you. I'd love to see pictures as well. So I have a Facebook page called The Crap Goth. Please go on there. You can chat to me on there. And um, yeah, this little guy is going to grow up on camera. Um, hopefully you can have some lovely little adventures with him. You're going to see how he develops, see his personality. At the moment he's quite tired. He's been awake all night mostly, but he's been snuggled up. And welcome to YouTube, little dude. So yeah, this is Spooky. And I hope that you enjoy our little adventures together. See you later. See bye-bye. Hey, hey. Stara, what do you think? It's a little puppy. <laughs> hey. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello, cute little oh, look at this little chocolate one. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Bum is like, get me away from her. Uh, <laughs> Spanky, what do you think? Look at this. They are tiny terrors. <laughs> look at this. Oh, here's a cuddle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. hello. <laughs> this is, this, this, the this is the mum. <laughs> Don't shout because we're only babies, okay? Oh, sorry. Oh, they're Hello. Used to it. It's fine. Gorgeous. Oh, they're used to loud noises and other animals. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello.
And these are all their little pop stairs, which is incredible. So this is the mum. What's mum called? Layla. Layla. Oh, oh. I, I think the they might. They, they probably want. They're probably drinking a milk honey still. They're trying to, but she's had enough of them now, so she uh, moves away from them rather rapid. So how old are these now? So these are seven weeks old. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, they are so good. Hello. They are beautiful. Oh my gosh. But this is mum's way of weaning them, see. She yeah. won't feed them for very long. Oh, She'll uh, tell them off the in a minute. Money. Really? Yeah. She's gonna like it. They're too big for her now. Oh what? my gosh, they are so beautiful. They'll just jump, that's all. They've got yeah, no yeah. sense of height. Oh, oh it's got your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with your fake fakers or your little. Typical, the snail is holding his own. Isn't it? Hello. Oh. She was a god. Oh, what? I could be burnt dog. Hi. Oh, you're pretty cute. <laughs> I got a cheetah. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god, they can move, can't they? They're fast. Wait, where's Hello. the brown one? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Oh. I like you. <laughs> Hello. It's with the back. Ow, don't. He just oh my god, the same is. Oh, that's it. The world got zoomies now. <laughs> Do you want to go for zoomies? Zoomies. <laughs> Little brown one. I don't, is that your favourite little brown one? Yeah, the little brown puppy. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh no, not there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I splashed it all up the side. Yay. Good boy. Oh, done. Oh. You are actually really good at using that. Pants you eat my bag. Go on, does it taste nice? <laughs> Put that in. Oh, that one's got a home already, honey. Oh. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and you're... Oh, you're going with the hand. Oh, let's go, Mama. Oh, <laughs> and you're going with the hand. Faye, 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 go slowly. 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 Faye, <laughs> you get those toes. Honestly, if you could smell his feet properly, you'd be running the other way. Mm. <laughs> Mummy? Yeah. This one was nibbling your coat earlier. Look at your nails. This one was nibbling yeah, your coat. Yeah, I know. Why is that kid so bad? Hi. Hello. Hello. Right, Astara, so what do you think? Oh! So this is the one that's probably going to be called <coughs> Astara. You're going to have no clothes left. Or well, maybe you'll stay in Astara. <laughs> right. What are you doing? Hello. What are you doing? I think he likes that skirt. <laughs> Maybe you like unicorns, Fei Fei. <laughs> Trying to get, yeah. <laughs> Be careful, Astara, because they're only little. Two of them like me. <laughs> they're doing their hair. A man with his tools is a very sexy thing. The tiniest hammer. But you've got a bit of wood in your hands, so that's not a bad thing. What are you doing? Making your wallpaper dirty. <gasps> Look, it's just it's a highlight. It accents it and makes it look... It's my favourite wallpaper. Yeah, I know. So, what are you doing? I know what you're doing, but no one else does, so what are you doing? Don't know. <laughs> Putting holes in your precious wallpaper and laughing maniacally. Um, I'm fitting a full-size dog guard for a rat dog. <laughs> All you need is two lines of gaffer tape and the thing ain't going to jump over it. It's a chihuahua. Yeah, a wawa. Right, we've never had a chihuahua. We've, we've, we've got, we have got dogs. We've got, we've got a cockapoo and a sprudel. <sighs> and uh, we've never had a teeny tiny little cat dog, have we? Nimbus love fun playing with it. Nimbus is my tortoise. 
is currently bigger than the wawa. It is. I'll tell you something. The size difference between the tortoise and the and the dog, not that big. Hello, Nimbus. Hey, dude. Hello. Is that the friendliest tortoise ever? He's ready for a shower look. He looks exactly like the one from the Ending Story. Oh my God! Yeah, he does, doesn't Hello. he? Hello. Hi, dude. <laughs> The snort at the camera in a minute. Hi. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. And there's all your dust. So, does that tape not mark the wallpaper then? No, it's decorator's tape. Wow, that's actually really clever. Thank you. Oh, welcome. Thanks for putting the dog gates up. So you've got to go one across the stairs here and then one across Corey's bedroom as well, uh, which is downstairs. So, yeah, I'll show you when it's done. Bye. Preparations for the Chihuahua, who is uh, arriving in two days' time. So, there we go. Spooky. Yeah. And it's got to go. You're more likely to catch yourself on that, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. And that would snag on clothes and Yeah, end up snapping it and stuff. Because that way, I could pr probably even cut that off and just yeah. have it side on. Whatever you think is going to work, Spanx. Whatever I think is going to work. Oh. Well, got some sheet metal and a grinder and some welding gear and stuff. Yeah. It, yeah. So let's, go, let's go full force. No. You in power tools, you have an unhealthy obsession with them. That's because they're good at what they do. Ryobi right, though, isn't it? That's yeah, your love, isn't it? Your passion. It is. Even green tape looked. Much your green Ryobi tools. You bought this tape. Did I? You bought this. Oh, is this when I did the decorating in the front yes. room? Yes. Oh, okay. So it's nothing to do with me. But I, yeah, it's frog tape. It is really good. Um, There was actually a post the other day that I saw on Facebook, yeah. which is funny, saying that men are sorted into houses like Harry Potter, judging what, what tools they use. Right. Because you've got DeWalt, you've got uh, Milwaukee, you've got Ryobi, and these... What was the other one? Black & Decker? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry to call Black & Decker. They're very, very good firm and they're very good, very, very good tools. <coughs> um, yeah, I can't remember anyway. But uh, this will be ready in a minute. And what was that point then? So what house would you be then? We're slithering because you're green. Well, no, I don't. There wasn't any allocation like that. It was just saying that there's four houses of power tools. Oh, fair uh, enough. Okay. Because slithering is the best, though, and it is green. So. Sure. If you say so, dear. I do. Use one of these wanky screws. Oh, your banister! I don't mind. It's not my posh wallpaper. Well, I've already done holes in that. I don't know. It'd be worth it. Right, thanks for doing this because I can't do it. I am shit at DIY. Can't cool. even make the bed. Right, see you later. Can I make a coffee? Yeah, I can actually. Oh no, you've taught me how to use your special magic coffee machine as well. Not that posh, it only costs 25 quid. Yeah, but it still smells like shit. I hate the smell of coffee. It's disgusting. Ugh. Right, see you later. Ta da! Okay, so first one is up, and this is by a company called Poor Hut. Um, there we go. Yeah, I got it from the catalogue, which is quite good because obviously everything else is it's a bit too expensive. You go to like the pet shops and stuff, it's like some of them are dead expensive. Yeah, but poor hut seems, seems to be okay, so it's just a retractable one. It gets pulled across, goes across the bottom steps. So the dog actually can't actually get there uh, underneath it because there's a step in the way, it just hooks on nice and easy, which is fantastic, and uh, just retracts back, which is good. So, thank you very much. It's very loud. It is very loud, but we're not going to use it all the time anyway. Yeah, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be like pulling it across there at like 2 a.m. in the morning, but I think that like, things, it's be fine, isn't it? Yeah. Just got one more to do on Corey's room and then uh, sorted. I'm just going to go quickly show people the uh, little puppy setup we've got so far. Okay. Thank you, Spanky. No problem. I'm going for a shower because I can smell myself and I stink. Do you? You yeah. stinky, dreaded hippie. Don't just sweaty nail. <laughs> Right, okay, so at the moment, this is what we've got set up, and this is in the living room. So we've got a laminate floor, which is really handy. We're going to pop some puppy pads inside there. 
Um, this is actually a travel, a, a little travel container, container, little travel hut, house thingy that I've just, we've just ball clipped onto it. Um, so that's going to be like a little bed compartment and then he's got a little tiny um, area to run around in. He's a teeny, teeny, tiny little chihuahua puppy so he's de dead dinky at the moment. Um, obviously he'll have the rest of the room to run around in as well. This is just a nighttime pen. Um, we've got a little harness thing for him because apparently you're not supposed to use a collar and a lead with a chihuahua because of their esophagus. Esophagus, I just said that, so I heard him shout from the background. So we've got a nice little uh, Kath Kidston, which I don't need to go for anything named, but it just happened to have bees on it, which, so I got it, which is cute. A uh, little lead down there. Understand, obviously, he can't go out for a walk until he's had his puppy jab, so I'm going to get a little, like, pouch to, to pop him on my chest and carry him around so he can get some fresh air. This is a really nice little setup. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It's completely foldable. It comes with tent pegs. It comes with a ground sheet, everything. So if you're going to go out camping or whatever, you can go and take it in the garden and set it up there as well which is handy and then obviously when we've got the vet's visits for jabs we'll just take these clips off and just pop him inside there and we can carry him to the vet's which is going to be really really cool so yeah we will show you when he arrives Astara what? who's just arrived? Spooky oh my gosh he's a little chihuahua he is a chihuahua isn't he? he's very gentle what's it? he's lovely isn't he? what do you think of him? very cute yeah? yeah Say hi, Spooky. He's going to sleep, look on you. It's really lovely, isn't he? And pretend pretend he's going to wave it to everyone. No, darling, leave him because he's really small and I think he's tired. So just behind you, that's his bed. He's got his blankets. And Kate's just been to drop him off. And she brought an octopus toy with him, which is so super cool. And also, the only thing she could find to put his food in was a pirate chest. So he's got his food in there, which is Purina, and we just mix it with a bit of warm water. Pirate doggy. Hey, pirate doggy, yeah. And then we've got his blanket that's got his mum's scent on it as well. He's got his puppy pads down and some food. His little bed compartment with a spooky blanket in. So it should be nice and warm in there. He's got some teddies as well, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, so he is... He's home. Ah! He's our new friend. It's okay, yeah. Let's go far. It's okay, it's fine. Let's have a look at him. Look, oh, he's asleep. Look, oh my gosh. Let's have a look. I'm not gonna... Hi. <laughs> I think he woke him up. I just dropped my phone on you. I dropped my phone on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you wake, woke I, him I'm up. I'm sorry, Spooky. Did I wake you up? Hi. Oh, oh my gosh. Look. Hi. He's so small, isn't he? Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, she will okay. So she'll let him rest for a little bit now. Yeah. Bye bye, Spooky. I'll see you in a bit. High five, Gypsy. Good girl. Who's this? Are you jealous? Hi. Who's that? 
Gypsy, who is it? It's your brother. Hey, spooky. Is it Jibs? Good girl. Morning. So, first night after a new puppy. And say hi. Hello, little, little toe beans. So, we ended up, um, he has got a playpen uh, just behind the camera now. With his mummy's blanket and everything in it, but he ended up wanting to spend the night with me, <laughs> which I quite happily obliged. But I'm knackered because obviously he's only a tiny puppy, and he needed to make sure he could have a wee whenever he wanted. So we ended up on a two little, little two seat sofa, which is tiny, curled up Ugh. over loads of blankets. We had like a little blanket for it. I've got this on, which someone's just gifted to me, which is so super warm. For half of it, he ended up sitting in the pocket of this 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 Udi, or oh, comfy, should I say? He ended up in that and then uh, just we just spent the whole night curled up and he was just curled up basically here which was really really nice he's had a good first night he's been for wheeze and poos in his pen on his puppy pads which is good obviously we will get him off those pads as quick as we can um he's going to be booked into the vets today i'm going to register him with the vets today um he's already microchipped which is really really good so kate did that for us um he's so loving <laughs> he's beautiful so he'll have his puppy jabs Hey, he'll have his puppy jabs and then obviously he won't be he won't be able to walk um outside for a while so i'm going to get him a sling and i'm going to carry him around in a sling for a little while just so we can get some fresh air or we'll go on the school run so we can get used to kind of being around people but not, he's not in danger so yeah he's so cute he's honestly he's he's lovely he just um he's really loving he's quite shaky but i think that's a chihuahua thing from what i understand I don't not quite sure why my camera keeps calling out in random. But yeah, I was saying that it's his first night away from his mum. He's been so, so good. He just wants cuddles all the time. About six o'clock this morning, because it's now uh, it's nearly eight o'clock. I've got to get ready in the minute to go and do the school room with my husband. And he's going to come in the car with us, wrapped up in blankets to keep him warm. Um, but yeah, about six o'clock this morning, uh, needle teeth were on the go. And he was biting my fingers. It was like, oh, come sharp. But he's gorgeous, honestly. He is so nice. He's going to settle in so well. My other dog, Gypsy, slept in here all night as well in her basket and didn't bother at all. Really, really good. So he is beautiful. You're going to say hi to everybody. Welcome to your YouTube because you're going to grow up on camera. And we are going to do Adventures of Spooky. So when he gets a little bit older and he's able to kind of like obviously like walk around, we're going to get a specially adapted harness for him that's not going to be heavy or hurt him or anything and we're going to have a doggy cam like a little gopro for dogs and we're going to have the adventures of spooky and we're going to go to places all over the uk with him and you can see it from his point of view and my other dog gypsy's here hey, Gips. so she's here as well and they get on pretty well i think at the moment gypsy's just like what is this little tiny thing you've brought into my home but yeah they get on pretty well he's absolutely gorgeous so yeah this is Spooky, this is Gypsy, my other dog is Hobbit, my daughter's dog really. He isn't bothered, he's old and he's not bothered. But this little guy you're going to see grow up on YouTube. And he is a beautiful little chihuahua and he's a merle colour. Well, there we go. Hi Spooky. And I'd like to say thank you so much as well to everybody who has already sent gifts because a few people knew I was going to get him and they've already bought him toys and things. So thank you so much, that means a lot. And we shall see you all soon. Bye bye. And you, Gypsy, I know. Bye bye.